Well, hello there, friends and family. Now I see you're back again. And you just happen to be in the focus with me today. Yeah, all a couple thousand of you. And hey, I'm so glad you were. And since you acted so well, nobody acted up. Y'all took your seats, worked it all out, and came on with old Mr. Tom. I'll show you where we're going. And if you're good, and you got a promise to behave in the buggy and be quiet, because you know how these people are. I'm about to show you. I'll let you go with me, and we'll see what's up. Okay? Let me show you where we're at. Yep, we're at Walmart. Now, I don't come here very often. Only one, I gotta have something that only they have. And that's today. I need a couple of things that I can't get at my favorite superfoods, and I need them a little bit sooner than I can order them from online. So here we are. And like I said, y'all gonna have to behave and be quiet or they'll shut us down and make us leave. So hey, let's all unbuckle, jump on out, you know, try not to look like a crowd and we'll head her on in and see what's up, pick up what I need, okay? So come on, let's go for a buggy ride. So here we are, y'all be quiet now, okay? And we're currently in the vitamin section. I gotta pick up something here if they got it. I'll show you if they do. Well, they had it. I got some CoQ10. It's for my heart, you know, heart health. Look into it. I'm also picking up some L arginine, or not sure how you pronounce it. Anyway, it's for heart health too. You know, we old folks, some of us have issues. I wanted to pick up some ginseng, but they don't got any. So now, we'll head her on and see what else we can get into. Well, I wanted to pick up some more 3% hydrogen peroxide for the garden. They don't have the large 32 ounce bottles, just have the 16 for 62 cents, have to do. So they were out of the larger bottles. So I just picked up four of the 16 ounce. Well, I'm not sure. You know, the crisis over feminine hygiene products still looks to be ongoing. The shelves are a little bare. Especially if you're looking for one certain uh, brand of product. Currently, this is not an issue of mine. <laughs> I want to run down, check the gardening section, if you don't mind. I always do. We don't have a very big gardening section, so it's not too impressive. But I'm looking for things on clearance. It's that time of year. But at the moment, they haven't put anything on clearance. Yeah, it's basically only two aisles. One of which is primarily for barbecue. You know, and grilling. Now, they do have some insecticides and things of that nature. If you're in the need of them, well, there's nothing here I, I really need or crave. Nothing's on sale, but I'm going to keep an eye on it. Of course, seeds are all gone. Stuff of that nature. We don't need any plants. We got plenty. Now, this is something that just went up entirely insane. And that's bird seed for my feathered friends and in about a week I'm gonna need some yep but I'm not even seeing the bigger bags of what I'd normally buy you know it's a mixed seed yeah so we'll pass this on by seems to be plenty of toys still I'd heard they were all gonna run out 
and they may still do it. Maybe kids will get out more and find the woods. And of course, you may have heard about the diesel engine oil shortage. It's supposed to be all out here in just, I think it was two weeks. Maybe it was eight. And the big culprit here, or the oil that's generating all the buzz, is the shell rotella. People love it. I gotta admit, I know many people who have diesel trucks and vehicles, and this is what they use. But don't tell anybody. Yeah, the shelves are a little bare. There's one bare. This one, yeah, it's pretty well stocked. Now this one up here, yeah, you can see there's a hole too. But there's some up there. And some down there. If you're noticing, some's T4 and some's T5. T5 being the synthetic blend. I'd run that if it was me. But it's pricey. And what they don't tell you is there's all kinds of other brands of diesel engine oil. And when I looked into this particular issue, you know, the whole world was gonna stop in eight weeks. Oh, that was about four weeks ago, which, you know, it'd be ludicrous. And I'm willing to bet it ain't gonna happen. Yeah. There's a hundred different brands of diesel engine oil. And apparently, only one, right here in front of me, is currently being significantly impacted. Something to do with additives. Of course, they did say, you know, there was only two places in the world that made the additives, and that would affect all brands. The other thing was a shortage in resin. Yeah, plastic resin. That makes the gallon jugs, which are made traditionally from high density polyethylene, that'd be HDPE, and the other is polypropylene. Let me look and see what these are made out of. Hold on. And you have to look at the little international symbol there. It's right here. And my eyes are old, but I believe that may say HDPE. Yeah, high density polyethylene. So it's because of that lack of plastic resin that's causing one of the two reasons for the diesel engine oil shortage. So there's actually two, that's one of the two reasons. But they could just make it out of polypropylene. I wonder why they don't. Oh yeah, it costs more. The other issue was we were gonna run out of death. Cause it's made from urea. Yeah. And supposedly Russia, one of the biggest manufacturers of urea. Yeah, you know, here of late, Russia's been the excuse for everything that's been going on. But as you can see right here, there's death to be had. And maybe somewhere in the country, they're out of death. Just not here. In my particular part, deep south of Alabama. And I'm just not meaning this particular Walmart. Plenty of other engine oils. I wonder why, if it's, I wonder why, if indeed it's part and cause, because of resin shortage, why aren't we about to run out of all the other types of oils? They're in the same type of container. Yeah, doesn't that make you wonder? It does me. So we will continue on. Now I've been having some problems with my sewer system. And I think she's got some clogs. You know, some buildup over time, because I still got cast iron pipes. So I'm getting some of this main line cleaner. Yeah. And we're gonna pick up one other just in case that don't do it. Now that main line, let's see. That's gonna cost me about 10 bucks.
but we're gonna step it up a notch and get the commercial line Drano Max Gel. Now, that's 1344. But one of the two should solve my problem. You know, I only got one potty. And it's a little slow here of late. But they had what I needed. And that's all that matters. Yeah, and I always like stopping in the camping area. You know, some people call it the fairness area. You know. Because in here, you can find many things to prepare you for many unfortunate events that you may come into contact and experience in your life as well. <laughs> and here we're coming into the pet section. We'll head on down here to the doggies first. Yeah, looks like there's some holes here for the doggies. Yeah, you can see them there. On the right, for the dry food. And over here, on the left, for the wet food. And I've looked into that situation as well. It's not a lack of what's inside the can. No, or ingredients therefore. It's because of a can shortage. Yeah, and I know that for a fact. Because I was told that directly by not managers, not people who emailed me, but the owner of one of our major grocery chains right here in Tallahassee. Bet you'll never guess who that was. Yep, the owner of Superfoods. But there would appear to be plenty of stuff for the doggies. Treats look pretty well stocked. Plenty of milk bones. Yeah. And that's another thing that I've been seeing a shortage is, and you'll see it right over there. Yeah, and that's kitty litter. Yeah, Gracie and Lilybit are all in a panic. They've been trying to figure out why. And it's not that the most expensive brands are out. No, it's, you know, the cheaper ones that are basically clay. So I guess we're running out of clay too now? Hmm, imagine that. Of course, I'm sure if I look into it more in depth, yep, they'll blame labor shortages and they'll also blame supply chain issues, you know, truck drivers. Excuse me, man. And now we're here in the kitty aisle. Yep, I gotta pick up one thing. For my little Gracie and my Lily bit. And you can see overall, I mean, we don't got a big kitty section, but you'll see dry food's looking pretty good. I mean, it's not stocked to the rafters, but there's plenty to go around. But it's the wet food, like always, that's a little lacking. Let me let you get around, man, because I'm talking. <laughs> my, I do videos. So, yeah, I came here to get something special for Gracie and Lily Bit. And it's something that was slim to none for a long time. Of course, like I'm showing you, kitty food is pretty bare. But, yep, I get them a little bit of fancy feast. And look at the price, <laughs> $24.24 for 30 cans. But they're my two little indoor princesses. You know, if I hadn't have brought them indoors, they'd have never made it. They surely would have died. So we're going to pick them up, some of this here, poultry and beef. A uh, classic pate, or should I go with the poultry and beef? Uh, grill collection. Well, I'm going to stick with what they love and grab them this. They're worth it. And the outdoor kitties get all kinds of stuff from y'all, their faithful viewers and fans. The little indoor kitties, sometimes 
Gracie. She gets so sad. She don't get mail. <laughs> so let me grab a box and we'll take a look at some other things along the way. Yep, but it's better. I can remember back in 2020. Yep, and even times in 2021, there was hardly anything on these shelves. That was frightening. Now I'm not gonna pick them up no treats. And another thing, I use that particular fancy feast and hide their medicine in it. Both Gracie and uh, Lilybit do take medication. Yeah, because they have ongoing issues. Hence why, if I let them part of the outdoor kitty crew, they would be up with Father God by now, looking down on me. Proud I decided to bring them on indoors. See, they've made my life so much better. Now we're not gonna go down through every aisle, because I'll just buy stuff I don't need. You know. Now, they blame the shortage of cans being the reason we're short on wet dog food, wet cat food, right? But, always seems to be enough cans for beer. Have you noticed that? And another is soda. Yeah, there for a while. One or two different weird flavors and that would be out. But overall, there was still soda to drink. And there's always been wine. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. Oh, pretty good for an old guy. And we got some, you know, there was a massive baby, baby formula shortage. But it's coming back. Might not be your particular type and brand or what your baby needs. But what I hear, it's starting to make a comeback. We'll just have to see. And that's another thing. Never before in my life was there a baby formula shortage till this year. <clears throat> And if you really want to know the issue, that was between Abbott and our lovely federal government. You know, the FDA. Yep. And Abbott basically got tired of playing and shut one of their plants down, which caused the baby formula shortage. Because there's only two companies that currently make it in the US. And up until just here recently, we could not import baby formula from other countries. Yeah, we had a protected market. Artificially so, because of our regulations. They were so stringent and so tight, which also drives the cost up. Yeah, that really, nobody else really cared about selling their baby formula in the US. And I needed some outdoor socks, so we're gonna pick up some cheapies here from Walmart. 1247 for 12 pairs low cut socks yeah try to stay a little cooler need to work so really that's all i need all the needs are now in the cart but since we're here let's look at a few other things you know at one point in time there was a diaper shortage but that seems to have made a comeback At least here in my area, and here again, your area could be quite different than mine. And something that's really went up in price, that is paper plates. Unbelievable. somebody oh peanuts were supposed to be in short supply and just looking here 
It does look to be a little bit fronted. Excuse me. Yep. They're here. If you need them. Always plenty of sodas. Gatorade. A little bit there. Slim. For whatever reason. Well, might be because we're constantly in the 90s. I don't know if y'all caught it. But a dozen eggs here, large, two ninety four. <laughs> you know, here we are at snack aisle. If you're looking out ahead as we go, it looks pretty well stocked. But the chip bags have really shrunk. Am I the only one that's noticed that? My favorite, Fritos. But look at that, $5 for 15 and a half ounces. Yeah, better have a party because that's the only time I'm buying them. They got to go back. But I'm thinking I might be able to make some. This winter, I'm going to give it a try. Yeah, we've been passing up the chip aisle. Maybe you'll let me know what you've been passing up. But we can make our own potato chips for sure. And I guess I need to show y'all how. I've been saying I would. Yep, we've been passing up the cookies too. Hmm. Now in case you're wondering, it's Friday. Yeah. I don't know what date. Let me check. I think I brought my phone. Yeah, it's July the 15th. I should have known. And we're looking over there at the you know, the malted beverages, beer, which I used to partake of, now I don't. Glad I don't, because looking at those prices, yeah, it shouldn't got stupid. I remember when that natural light was, oh, you pick that up all day long. You know, back before all the craziness started. Yeah, you could get it all day long. For under 13, now it's 20.98. Yeah, so it's a good thing. Give up bad habits. Yeah, and if you're smoking and dipping and doing all that, that's one thing. You can go to the wayside as soon as you can. I did it. And it plagued me for years. I was one of those that people would ask me, you smoke? Nope, I quit. Of course, I might be starting back the very next day. And do you remember when there'd be no more coffee? Well, we still have coffee. It's just expensive. <laughs> Get the best smelling one now. As you can see, there's plenty of bread. You know, that's the thing that always goes first. In a weather panic or what have you. Now, oils of all type. Whether it's olive, which, you know, last year, all the devastating fires in Spain, Portugal, and in the Mediterranean areas, yeah, they lost at least 50% of the olive trees. So as you can see right here, olive oil is a little bit on the slim side. But overall, cooking oil in general is, as you can see. Why? Well, if you look at vegetable oil, it's made from soybeans, which we have plenty of still. And then there's corn oil, which we have plenty of corn still. Now I know, some said we only had 10 weeks left. Well, that was the UN. When that all came out and everybody on YouTube started panicking, I got to thinking, wasn't it just a while back when they didn't trust anything the UN had to say? And when I looked into it, as far as America was concerned, well, 
we had 197 weeks left of that there wheat, not 10. Of course, the UN was talking globally. But if you're wondering, this is what is called the winter wheat harvest has been going on all through, depending on the area, May and June, and it's still continuing up in states in the Midwest and Northwest. Yeah, I watch them right on YouTube, harvesting the winter wheat. You know, we have two wheat crops. One's grown through the winter, harvested early, late spring to early summer. Then we have spring wheat planted in the spring and harvested later in the fall, late fall and early winter. Yeah. But there seems to be plenty of sugar, flour. Well, there are some holes. Maybe people were stocking up. Now, for those of you who don't know, we have also got an issue with our orange juice and oranges in general. Because in Florida, they have a greening disease that is affecting the vast majority of their orange trees. And if you look that up, that's where the oranges never turn orange. They stay green, but they're still edible. They just don't look too pretty. And I don't know about the sweetness. I didn't look all into that. But I don't drink a lot of orange juice anymore. Never did growing up. And we always got it in the can from the freezer section. But there's orange juice if you need it. In reality, you're just better off taking a vitamin C pill. We're not gonna go down the can and do it out. It looks fine. Lots of that good there processed canned food. You know, my favorite, Chef Boy R.D. And of course, Campbell's. And here we are in the processed food section. Here we are in the processed food section. It looks pretty good. And what you're going to see over here, what you see over here is something that might be concerning, and that's, you know, a pasta. Pasta's looking slim. But with all the people in social media talking about nuclear war, Armageddon, financial collapse, what have you, EMP, sunspots, yeah, CME, super volcanoes, and all that mess, okay. One of the things you can stock up on that's still rather cheap and lasts pretty much forever is, of course, pasta. The vegetable section still looks pretty good. And here we are in the vegetable section. Now, one thing I am noticing is the standard 14.5 ounce can, a great value different vegetables, whether they're cut green beans. Oh, no salt added, old kernel corn, what have you. They went up to 58 cents a can. Yeah, through 2020 and 2021, they were 50 cents here. And before that, 2019 and a little bit earlier, maybe 2018, they were 45 cents. But here we are, the great values at 58. So it's went up eight cents since the last time I purchased any of these, which would have been in 2020. But hey, if you're in the brand name, you're really going to pay for it. A Libby, 98 cents for cut green beans. Dude, Del Monte, top of the line, dollar 28 for the French style. Might want to grow you some beans in the yard on the old chain link fence. Or make a trellis like I do, out of string. Ooh, mixed vegetables, 62 cents for a 14.5 ounce can. But if you want some peas and carrots from Del Monte, it'll be $1.82. And so will their whole kernel, Southwest corn. Woo! <laughs> Let's get over here to Green Giant. 
Yeah. A little bitty can. White shoe fed corn, 218. These little cans are even crazier by Del Monte. Eight ounce can, 98 cents. No, thank you. Yeah, inflation went up 9.1% in June, which didn't include food. No bargains to be had here. But get it now, because it'll be more in the months to come. And canned goods are so easy to store. Anybody can do it. You can pile them on up and make a coffee table or a nightstand or even a bed platform. Now I have seen this done here on YouTube. Now and here we come to the cold cut section. You can already see it's got a bunch of empty spaces. Amazing, ain't it? It's primarily the Great Value brand. But you can see there's a lot of empty slots supply chain issue or could it be a packaging issue yeah maybe it's a combination of both let me show you something at our walmart how large our chicken section is that's our chicken section right over there and you're gonna see it ain't got a whole lot going on let's go over and take a look at a couple of prices while we're here Okay, the whole turkey's there. You know, whole young chickens, Sanderson Farms. It'll be a dollar eighteen per pan. Drumsticks. Woo! Dollar ninety-seven a pound here. And if you want some of them there skinless chicken breast fillets, that'll be three seventy-eight a pound. Woo! Pricey it is. I thought they used to be the low cost leader. They're losing that. Wings will run you two ninety eight a pound. But you can't get a big pack of this here. Drumsticks are dollar twenty four. About the cheapest they got going on. Chicken thighs bone in, dollar forty two. Chicken tenderlines, 477, my God. Now you can get you a 10 pound bag of leg quarters there for $8.14. Yeah, might as well say 81 cents a pound or 81 and a half. And I don't see many people coming to the beef section. Nope. In fact, overall, our neighborhood, I think they call it a market Walmart. Even though I think now they changed this one to a super center. Don't know how that's possible. We don't got automotive. You know where they do tires, oil changes and stuff. But you see the pork section is also very tiny. Yep, thin chops. 608 a pound. <laughs> Those are boneless. Yeah, there's thick chops. Also boneless. 568. Pork steaks here are 358. And just regular old pork chops bone in. I'll run you 337. A pound. And ribs, well, 222 pound, 444 pound, 464. It all depends on what type and kind. Whether you want Smithfield, spare ribs, or the St. Louis style, which is just how they're cut. I might add, you should look all that up. If I was gonna buy some, it'd be the spare ribs. 
Johnsonville brats, 587. Yeah, you get a whole five. There you go, ground Italian sausage, 467. Top sirloin steak will run you 794 a pound. New York strip, 1197 regularly. But they've discounted this to 1280. It would have been $15.80. Ain't very big steaks. And ribeye here. Yeah, it'll cost the same as New York Strip, eleven ninety seven. Cube steak, six seventy four. I love cube steaks. You know that was poor folk food when I was growing up. Well, there's some ribeye steak, Angus Premium Choice, for ten ninety seven. A lot of fat, a lot of fat. Of course, you see what's missing. That's the ground beef. Yeah, that's what us poor folk can afford. And it's even got silly. I mean, the ground beef chuck, 80-20. I think that says 477. Of course, you can get your two meat here, 7327 for 369 a pound. No, thank you. I'm just looking for some regular old ground beef. Not that I'd buy it here. There's your 73 percent. 27% fat and that'll run you 416 that don't look quite right because that's not the camera folks it's looking pink hmm now I'm thinking maybe there's more than 27% what do you think I mean you can see right here on these patties which are the 7327s, as it says. They're pink look. Hmm. That's a new one on me. The salmon section, fish overall, it just ain't happening. That's fresh fish. Ain't none of us gonna buy it here anymore, anyhow. Now when I'm over here, I come over here to the deli sandwiches. Yeah, because if you've been to Subway, you know, that's got extreme as well. But every once in a while, you can find one discounted. Like this turkey and cheddar here. Got plenty of turkey, plenty of cheese, on a whole wheat roll. And it's for $4.50. Yeah, that's cheaper than Subway. And I got my own lettuce, tomatoes, and onions too. Sometimes I grab one of these, you know? Yeah, when I'm lazy. And it's not as bad as eating fast food. I know, it's prepared. God knows where and by who. Yeah, such is life. And that was the only one they had. Now I think I'll get it. Because if we're out here together, we'll be running late by the time I get home. Well, looks like the rotisserie chickens have been wiped out. But that's something else that has went up. I remember when they used to be $5 a piece. No matter what they weighed, now they sell them by weight. Yeah, I don't know when that changed, but it definitely did. Of course, you can get up here and get you an eight piece oven roasted chicken yeah I think there's eight pieces in there and it's mostly way overcooked that's seven dollars and forty seven cents no thank you but back when I was working and didn't have a lot of time I would partake of a rotisserie chicken from time to time not anymore 
we'll just stop by Superfoods and pick up one of theirs and cook it up ourselves. It ain't hard, folks. Trust me. Do you need me to show you? But that's pretty much all we needed. Right there. The produce section ain't much to look about. Yep, it's rather small. And it's really never been all that well stocked. But I did want to look at something. So I'm going over here. Yep, it's right here, cucumbers. You know, yesterday I picked 15 cucumbers from over on those three vines on the south side garden bed. And right now here, they're 64 cents each. And they don't look nowhere near as nice as mine. Maybe I'll show you when we get back to the house. Yeah, and they'll say salad cucumbers. But I'm going to tell you, those are piculin cucumbers. Most people don't know. And why people buy these, don't get me started on the baby carrots. But at least now they say baby cut carrots. Yeah. Celery just went to plaid. You know, from the movie Spaceballs, when they went so fast, they weren't warping or at light speed, they went to plaid. And celery has went to 236 a bunch and it don't look all too tasty. They won't even tell you what the ear corn is. So I wouldn't go there. But that zucchini, ain't looking too nice for a buck 48 a pound. <laughs> I don't know what happened to it. Must have been machine picked. But it's been picked a while because the ends are drying up on it. Don't do it, people. Bell peppers. Man, 78 cents each. And look at them. They're all hey, way, way past their prime. They're starting their turn soft. That's why I don't buy produce here. Yeah. Even the green onions. 88 cents a bunch and you get six now. It used to be 12. Imagine that. Hey, let's get out of here. Before I spend more of my money. See y'all in the car in just a bit. Once I check out, okay? Well, y'all, we're done. Just a quick shopping trip, check out Walmart. And we looked at a few things that have been an issue and mentioned here on social media over the last few weeks. Just to see how it was in my little small part of paradise here in the deep south of Alabama. Overall, this store wasn't looking too bad. And like I say, it's Friday, July the 15th. Yeah, you know, people are here shopping, getting ready for the weekend. So that may have something to do with a few of the things that look a little slim. The prices are up there, unfortunately. And that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it impacting all of us, especially those of us who are on fixed incomes like Social Security, retirement, annuities, disability, veterans. Yeah. Like I say, the ones we're supposed to be taking care of. Oh. But I will say this to Walmart employees, they're always cordial and they're always nice to me. They hear me talking and yapping at the little gray box on the little black stand in the buggy. And they all look at me a little strange at times and they'll even ask me if I need help. They did it twice today. But everyone I encountered there was very happy, smiling, and very courteous, I might say. So hey, it was a fun trip for me, and I hope it was a fun trip for you. And I, all of y'all did do well in the book. I do appreciate that. And maybe that contributed to Walmart being nice back to us. In all truth, it's not Walmart's fault for where prices are even. They're going to pass them along. They have no choice. But hey, maybe you'll let me know what some of your prices are at your local Walmart too in the video comments.
So hey, we gotta get to the house. Check on the kitty crew. A little Gracie, a little bit too. So let's ride. Well, as you can see, we're back at the old home place. And the sun's starting to set low in the sky. And I was just reviewing my Walmart receipt. Already knew what the total price was. With tax, it was $100.25 for 12 items. That was it. Now, and four of those was the uh, hydrogen peroxide, 16 ounce bottles for 62 cents. So the vast majority of my 92.27 before tax was eight items. Now, the most expensive and <laughs> fancy piece for my little Gracie and Lily bit. And they're worth every bit. And you know, every once in a while, I have to sneak a can or two out to the kitty crew. You know, when they're being whiny, <laughs> they all truly love it. But they, they love friskies. They love the nine lives. They're just happy to be alive and happy to be loved like I'm happy to be loved by them. And it does make life all the more better, as I always say. Just like having a little piece of ground. Or maybe it's just a balcony or a patio. Whatever you have. Yeah. Anything to make life better in the troubling times that we now live in and may be living through in time to come. But I thought you might enjoy doing a little bit of shopping with me. I didn't need much, but I thought, hey, while we're in there, we'll check it on out. So we did. And maybe you'll let me know in the comments below the video how your stores are looking in your area. What's their stocking level looking like? Are you seeing anything that's concerning? What are your prices on the things that you would normally buy? How have you changed your buying habits? Mine have not changed all that much, but some. Uh, quickie food, you know, frozen pizzas, frozen dinners, you know, stuff of that nature. I'd always keep some around for when I got lazy. Or, you know, I've been out here working on the property or at work way too late to prepare something. No way I'd have just something real quick. You have to excuse me, we have mosquitoes. And they come in the late afternoons, early evenings. Also in the early morning hours. So there's just a little window there <laughs> in the middle of the day, which is scalding hot. So they ain't too good either. Anyway, other than you turn up the thermostats, don't drive anywhere I have to, except, you know, occasionally. Take a relaxing ride. Come on. You got to have some fun to do. I spend my time here on my little piece of heaven in my little paradise in the deep south of Alabama with my furry friends and my feathered friends. And here we'll make our stand and we'll strive to thrive and make our way through as we always have. And I do hope all of you will too. I think if you sit down and seriously go through your uh, finances, you know, I watch these grocery hauls all the time of certain friends and family and others I follow. And more times than not, I see more processed, quickie convenience foods than I see just good old basic food stuff. You know what I mean? So yeah, we can all cut corners a little more. And we may have to. We've all been through it before. So hey, I gotta quit rambling. I gotta get in and finish up the video so all of you can watch just how you did. So until I, the kitty crew, you know, Cleo, Spooky, Speedy, Mr. Gray, Magoo, sometime Heathcliff, little Gracie, and a little bit too. See you on that next video. Y'all take care. Stay safe. Stay cool. And stay hydrated. And may God bless you as you bless others. Goodbye for now. It's starting to get late. We got to start heading on. Getting her wrapped up for the day. 
I still got to check all the plants. See if they need any water. Or I call it a day. Yeah. There's always things to do. Yes, there is. That sun's starting to set low. Won't be by an hour or so. It should be below the tree line on the top of the ridge. We better get shaking and a bacon. We ain't got no time for no shackalack. Like old Mr. Gray up here. Yeah, I see you, Mr. Gray. You shackalacking there in the grass. And who do you got there? Yeah, that's Speedy. And there's Spooky. Or is that Cleo? Is that you, Cleo? I should have known. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yep, it's getting close to dinner time, isn't it? We'll go get Speedy. And we'll get her done, okay? Come on in. There it comes. Now we got all of y'all. Where's Magoo? Well, come on, Magoo. Get on over here, too. What'd you do? Just wake up, old guy. Now we got the whole gang. Cleo, quit being mean. Okay. Yes, Magoo. I got to go in and get it. And get it made up. I'm going. I'm going. Y'all be patient, okay? You hear me? You got to get out of the way. How can I get up on the steps? Come on, guys. Let me make it through. Oh, as you can see, they're impatient. Got to get her done later all.